New late night filings in Donald Trump's election subversion case showing both sides are at odds over how to move forward. Trump's team pushing for a schedule that would carry the pretrial disputes through to the next year. Special counsel saying he will leave the timeline up to the judge and we should find out more in a hearing this week. Former U.S. Attorney Harry Lippman joining us now. Harry, good to see you. Uh, what stuck out Thanks, to you? In these? Yeah, great to have you. Uh, these new filings. Well, look, the, the Supreme Court issued its immunity ruling and said the judge has to decide what to do. They sent it back to her, so she asked the parties, what do you want to do? Jack Smith says, I'm ready to go. I've got a brief. Let's, let's go through the indictment now and figure out if there's any immune conduct. Trump said, let's do three or four other motions to dismiss and a few other things, and maybe we get to that in January. So it seems like a pretty obvious attempt to avoid any kind of accountability before the election and also at odds with what the Supreme Court ordered. So I, you know, I think the, the thrust of what he's doing is trying to delay. Mm. And this week will be the first hearing in that case since the Supreme Court ruling that said Trump has um, at least partial immunity. What are you expecting out of this hearing? Well, it's a really uh, good question because there's some parts, you know, we now have a new indictment by a new grand jury and, uh, and he's trimmed out, has Jack Smith, a lot of the things that the court said you cannot do. And most of what's left there is Trump as a candidate. So it's unofficial conduct. But a big chunk remaining has to do with Trump's browbeating of Mike Pence. And I think there's going to be a real battle royale as to whether that is not just official conduct, but the court gave an extra test. Is it conduct that if you let it in, it could impinge on executive branch functions? That's kind of legal uh, gobbledygook for saying, is it the sort of thing that a president needs protection in talking to their vice president? Trump will fight that hard. And I think it potentially will go up again to the D.C. Circuit and Supreme Court. But Smith has obviously decided he wants the evidence, needs the evidence, and he can argue that he has a right to the evidence under the Supreme Court opinion. Mm -hmm. And I also want to ask you about uh, Trump's attorneys wanting to challenge Smith's appointment uh, in all of this before dealing even with the question of immunity. We know that the Florida judge, Eileen Cannon, used that argument in her dismissal of the classified documents case down in Florida. Where do you think Judge Tanya Chutkin might stand on this? How do you think that particular piece of it might, might play out? I think it's not hard to predict because Judge Cannon is the only judge in 50 years, literally. They, the uh, Department of Justice filed a brief in the 11th Circuit to reverse her and just cited court after court after court that has gone the other way. So I don't think that's going to get any purchase before Judge Chutkin. The question is, will she indulge Trump in doing it first? And my best guess, she's got a very hard task in front of her, and some of the immunity uh, ruling was hard to decipher for a trial court judge. But my best guess is she'll focus on that first and uh, later take up Trump's uh, new motion here and give it short shrift because every other court has. Also, by then, it may well be that the 11th Circuit has reversed Judge Cannon. So that would really make it exceedingly clear that, that this, this theory just ha doesn't hunt. All right. Well, we shall see. Harry Lippman, always great to have you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jessica. Have a good holiday weekend. You too.